Alright, welcome to the video. If you want to learn how to make a quest crasher for VR chat. So, I just made a PC one in the last video. Check that one out. It goes through and tells you how to make toggles and everything like that. But, we're going to do the same thing today. Oh, God, sorry. I was just running. First off, you're going to need Unity Hub. Download it. Download for Windows. It's going to pop up like this oops it's gonna pop up like this you're gonna have no projects you're gonna have no installs in unity hub you want one of two things you can either get 2022 or you can get 2019 2019 is better for avatars 22 is better for worlds but 2019 you need this one install open with unity hub and it's gonna say Windows SDKs and then it's gonna say Android SDKs make sure you have both of them and then just click install it's the same thing for 2022 for a SDK for VR chat you're gonna need Bloodborne which I'm using everything's gonna be posted in the discord server in the link in the description don't mind that it's this one so everything's going to be in here in the assets tab. There's going to be more stuff posted on later this week. Join the server. There's going to be a lot of stuff in here. I sold Audio Graveyard, but the owners actually came into this server and took audios from here and then posted it in that server. So, yeah. Oops. How did I pull that up? But make sure you import all of these. Check out the PC video if you want to learn how to like do the other versions I usually just double click it and it usually imports for me but you're gonna have a basic avatar which I'm gonna delete this one so I can just show this I'm just gonna set this one up for um oops what did I just open I'm gonna set this one up for quest and I'm just gonna be using a basic mesh called mesh world a quest world sorry you're gonna have to have that SDK you're gonna have to have a mesh or whatever you're gonna use to crash quest a avatar toggle assistant most nukes don't work for quest people so I'm not even gonna bother working on that but you want to get your avatar using the one in here is gonna be posted in Palo server join it it's gonna be in one of the tabs and you can just get this for free and it's nice it's good looking and very simple to use but you want to right click unpack for whatever avatar you're going to use make sure it has an animator and make sure it has a VR chat avatar descriptor which you go down here add components and then add avatar descriptor just click it and then it should pop up with all that stuff then you're going to need toggles right click go to create VR chat avatars parameters PRA and then get the menu the same way and then you're gonna need a animated controller which you just make it called FBX if you wanna if you wanted it to be slower just go to the PC version I kind of explained this a little bit more but I'm just doing this as fast as I can to get this over with so I don't waste y'all's time's day. Just make sure you pull all this onto there. Sometimes it's gonna look like this. For FBX, just click it and then boom. And then for animators, it's gonna say none, like that. And then you just pull that into there. Boom, you have your avatar. So, personally, I would upload it to PC and Quest which I'm gonna show. I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to import it, but just pull the quest world in there. Right click, prefab, unpack. If you untoggle this while too close to the avatar, it's gonna crash you. So I'm not gonna even untoggle it. But make sure it's like this. This just saves you from getting crashed, which I love. Right click it, create toggle. Give it a minute. It should pop up like this. If it doesn't show an avatar, just pull whatever avatar you have in here with the avatar descriptor and then just pull that onto there with the accessory. Name it to whatever you want. 
I spelled that wrong somehow. So save state, that just basically saves the object. So if you leave a world and then you join another one, if it's toggled, it's gonna stay toggled. If it's not toggled, it's not gonna it's gonna it's gonna stay not toggled. So yeah. It, that's usually used for accessories, which I would use it for. Default state, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, I do not know. Go here, control panel, name it to whatever you want. Sorry, I've used this avatar earlier. Capture scene, you can do this, capture it from the scene, or you can use a thumbnail, which is just a regular image. Using PNG is better for that. If it has auto fix for um like a stop sign looking thing, then auto fix it. If it says like something with this and it says like upgrade to 2022 ignore it you don't need it it's fine and then you want to click that build and publish after that's done build and publishing you wanna go here well hold up let's actually do this copy and paste this so if you had a lot of accessories for your regular avatar and a lot of crashers for the PC side you would copy and paste this name it P just add PC to the side of it so you understand that's PC and then name this one quest you will have to optimize this avatar I don't want to show how to do that since this is a really simple thing that I'm doing right now but you will have to optimize it there's other videos out there I can't really explain it too well right now sorry but yeah then you want to click right here click Android and then you're gonna switch your target which that will take a while depending on how big your avatar is but yeah we're gonna talk about the server a little bit if you want to learn how to code there's learning resources in here useful people to watch yeah a lot of stuff and if you go into useful tab there's a lot of stuff in here it's all of this is usually um checked by the owners aka me and Nesma, I think that's how you say it. But we both check the server. We verify the things in the side of the server and make sure they're nice and clean. So everything in here, it should be good. But it also holds a ton of assets. A lot of them haven't been posted yet because one of my other accounts I was posting them actually got limited by Discord, so that's kinda sad. But you see there's still assets all in here. Shaders, I don't think there's anything in the shaders tab yet, but there's gonna be a section of shaders because there's so many shaders that I have. It's like 20 something thousand. Tons of ERCAs, FBXs, models. I have not posted models yet. I'll probably post them later particles i'll post them later data swaps which people can post their own data swaps or you can get them from servers picks and of course every tutorial that i make is going to be in here and just useful tutorials out there man if you need something it's probably in here i'll probably be posting more later this is also this isn't like said we also post games in here sometime we're going to be posting edit softwares and regular softwares there's media tabs. There's probably nothing really much in here. Nothing yet. But this is one of the biggest audio servers. The owners of Audio Graveyard that bought it from me. Uh, I may or may not have deleted everything in there. And then they had to come into this server. Download everything. And then repost it in there. So yeah. Hey but that was a quick money bro. I'm not even gonna lie. They won't have these two channels in there, that's what they said, so I brought them back into here. If you want anything, come in there. If you want your own channel dedicated to you, or a gang channel, like one of these gangs, I'm just going to go down the list. Just keeps going. But if you want one of those gangs inside of the server, just please DM me and only me because Nim will probably never uh, answer you. If you want your own audios, make sure you have at least three audios for anything. And or you can have um, 
pictures and images that you want to mix into there but yeah let's get back into this okay I guess we're not getting back into that but yeah if you want anything it's probably in here if you need any help please be sure to come into the general chat and just ask in here it's kind of dead because this is a relatively new server but hey it works let's just wait until this is done then because I basically went through everything okay this is taking a while I would get some snacks by the way because sometimes this process takes longer when you make more complicated avatars oh yeah sexy cool email definitely not deleting it after this Oh yeah. So if you're gonna make complicated avatars, it's pretty much the same way as how I set this up, but it depends where you put it. Like if you put clothing on the avatar, I would recommend that you set them up inside a blender, which there's tutorials inside of my uh, server right here. If you scroll all the way up, how to put outfits on your avatar, how to rig them, and how to do basic udon stuff which is good and simple to use oh here we go but yeah click that okay so now that you have your avatar in here make sure it has the quest version selected you see this is what i'm talking about right here vram if it looks like this and just auto fix it so this should be good sometimes there will be too much of stuff that's why I use Bloodborne because it kind of bypasses some of these, but usually if you have too many crashers, too many meshes on an avatar, it'll get security checked, which is the bad part. And if it has too many polygons, which are called triangles now, it kind of like just messes it all up. But this is already set up. The toggle is already set up. All you got to do is click build and publish and then boom. You got a quest crasher. If you have more crashes on here, like let's say you have a nuke on there, then I would just take that off. I would only keep like one or two meshes on there at a time, depending on what type of mesh it is. But at a time, I mean like if you're using two different meshes and you got to layer them, like how a quest world is, then I would just do it a little bit. But you can also do particles. And yeah, it's pretty simple. I'm just yeah, that's pretty it. All you gotta do is click build and publish. It should work. If it doesn't show any of this, and it but it shows it for the PC version. So let me go here, and then it says it here. I can actually show y'all. Okay, wait. I forgot this doesn't have a blueprint ID. So if it doesn't show any of this. Just make sure you get the blueprint ID uploaded for the PC crat or whatever avatar you're using. Copy it, it's gonna be on the pipeline manager. Copy, and then you would go down here and then just paste it. But yeah, then it should pop up with all this and then you would have to fix it to your point of liking. All right, if you need anything, ask for help in the server. If you need me to walk it through just a little bit more, ask in here and I'll make a simple video just for you so you can walk through it but yeah that's pretty simple if you need anything please dm me